Ellie Team and NPC, and today I'm making a tutorial for you guys. This is my first tutorial for the Sin4 GFX channel, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool landscape trip, a cool landscape trick you can use um, to make a representation, graphical representations of landscapes. So right, right now you, you see um, a few of, few of the ones I've made in the past. So it's a pretty simple trick that you can use to make a uh, cool graphics that look like landscapes and uh, based off actual landscapes. So right now here I have a picture of Death Valley from California. This is um pretty awesome desert. If you ever have a chance to visit there, you should you should. Um, and uh, we're going to make a graphical representation of it and it'll sort of simplify and it'll, it'll it'll look pretty cool. So there's basically two steps in 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 this process. The first step is lines, the second step is shading. So um you generally want to use like two or three maybe maybe four no more than five colors and um so that way make it look sim simpler and and uh so we're going to select two colors for the lines we're going to have one line represent these um gorges where it's where it's at at a depression and we're going to have another color that represent these peaks so we're going to have select a dark color for the depression so i'm going to right click there to so with um with my uh what's it called the color pickle t picker tool tool sorry so I'm gonna right click on on right, right there to select that color and I'm gonna left click on the top to select that color for the tops so now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer so this new layer won't affect this old layer at all and we're gonna go ahead and start drawing lines along these so there we go I've got a line and I'm just gonna draw draw it along the top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on that the background layer, and I'm going to move this bar a little bit down, just so it's so um <coughs> what we draw is a little more obvious. And make sure you select the right layer when you're drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and continue drawing. The main thing that makes these look good is not your graphical skill; it's how much time you put into it, because it's pretty simple. Oh, by the way, I'm using the the line tool right here, line curve, and then you can after you've done the line, these points will show up, and you can um, move those points around to make it fit to curves. So that way, you can make nice curved lines. So there you go. Now I just in the tops, and then I can draw these darker lines to represent the gorges. If if the lines you make aren't exactly spot on don't worry because it'll be zoomed out so these will all be minor details Ooh, whoops. All right. so you're just going to continue drawing lines like this and I, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward so that um, I don't waste too much of your time but hopefully you get the idea for the lines and we'll move on to the shading in a second. Um, in order to tell whether you're finished or not, just um, grab your background layer and slide through the transparency, and make sure there's um, <clears throat> there's no like areas that you feel should have lines and where and aren't. You might you might have seen I did that two or three times during the speed drawing where I just look through and see if there's any um, areas that d didn't have anything on there. So I think it, it took me about what five. Maybe no. It's gonna probably about ten minutes right there. So, and for larger pictures, it takes a lot longer. So th that's how I make the line representation. Now let's move on to the shading. So the way where we're gonna do the shading is, um, okay. Let me go to our colors. So let's make um. So we want our 
our line colors to be more obvious than the uh, than the shading colors. So, in order to make um, our shade for the lighter color, in order to make that stand um, not uh, uh, bury the um, line colors, we're going to make that a little darker. And then we're going to take the secondary color, and we're going to make that lighter to make sure that. It doesn't. So there we have our two shades. So now we're going to go through with our magic wand tool. I'm going to make another layer. So you have a nice, clean new layer, and it's under the line layer and above the the original layer, the background layer. And I'm going to you see this ravine area that's dark in general. I'm going to grab my magic wand tool, or actually. Uh, I apologize, the lasso tool, and I'm going to go through and just trace the, the that dark shaded area. A lot of this should co coincide with the lines you've already made. That was, let me start over. Might also be a good idea to do it in smaller chunks. I think I'll do that. I'll do it in smaller chunks like this, so that way I know I won't mess up. So that's darker. And keep going. And fill that in as well. Oops, wrong color. There we go. That's darker color. And then this area over here is going to be the lighter color. So I'm going to go go ahead and fill through there. I might change these colors later on if, if, if they don't, do they turn out to be good colors. Um, that's the gist of what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use the last two to go circumscribe the um, different shaded areas, and I'm going to fill them in. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed that part up. from the actual um, mountain face right or the whatever you call it face rather than try to make up my own so I'm gonna grab the color picker tool and I'm gonna go ahead and select that color on the side so this is a really cool trick you can do in pay.net <clears throat> so this primary color is, is the one I just selected and we want this icky green color to be changed into into that a more goldish color so I'm going to select the recolor tool and I'm going to make the brush width like really high like 500 or so and see and you can see that changed the color and that completely changes the dynamics of it but now those dark um, brown colors are sticking out too much let's let's try and find a uh, a better color for the other one alright so let's go back into the gorge Let's see. My color pickle picker tool. Is that a primary color? And that was 
And I'll use the recolor tool for that. There we go. I think that looks good enough. So, that's our finished product. Maybe we can put a sky behind there. Make a quick gradient like so. And you'd want to fix um, this this stuff, but I'll leave that to you. And this is our mountain, and um, it it looks a lot different from our original mountain. But it um, I say it looks pretty cool, and it has a different feel to it, I guess. So we can just go and look at the difference. Like so, that's the normal mountain, and uh, that's our cartoonized mountain. So, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, the main thing that I want you to understand is that this takes a lot of time. It's, um, um, like I've been recording for 24,000 seconds. That's like 40 minutes or so. And it's, it's more time than, it's more effort than, um, skill. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I found it helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.